morning everyone, it's Agatha. Welcome to CSSP Active TV episode 8. Get ready to get active because it's episode 8. It's a challenge day. Okay, so as you can tell today we have got a number of challenges for you to complete. And what we're looking for is we're looking for people who can really push themselves when completing those challenges. We are also looking for people who can show their very best and keep going even if you find things getting hard. Okay, now guess what? Because it's a challenge day, it's not just myself and Mr. Doug taking part today. All of the Croydon SSP team wanted to join. So you're going to see Mrs. Lux, Pearl, Monica and Kyra. Now, best of luck to everyone. Best of luck to us. Best of luck to you. Let's get ready to get going. Hi everyone, it's Kyra and I'm so excited to be taking a warm up today. Today we're going to be playing Kyra Says, so you have to do what Kyra says. For example, if Kyra says jog on the spot, you have to jog on the spot. And if Kyra says jump up and down, you have to jump up and down. But if Kyra doesn't say something, you don't do it. So let's play. So, let's get started. Kyra says march up and down. Kyra says jog on the spot. Kyra says do jumping jacks. Kyra says jump up and down. Kyra says do bunny hops. Kyra says do side to side jumps. Do you have knees? Oh, remember, I didn't say Kyra says. Kyra says, do you tap jumps? Kyra says, tap your head and rub your stomach. Kyra says, stretch up. Kyra says, jog on the spot. Kyra says do a big stretch. Do you tap jumps? Oh wait, I didn't say Kyra says. Kyra says jump up and down. Kyra says spin around. Kyra says, do you heel flips? Kyra says, do jumping jacks? Kyra says, jump up and down. Kyra says balance on one leg. Balance on the other leg. Wait, I didn't say Kyra says that. Kyra says do a slow jog. Kyra says march on the spot. Kyra says do one last big stretch to finish. Well done everyone, can't wait to see you next time. Bye! Hey there everybody, it's me Mrs Lukes. I'm back again today to take you through your main activity. It is challenge day. Woo woo woo! I hear you cry so let's get ready to challenge ourselves. 
Have you got all those bits ready that Mr. Doug told you about yesterday? So some post-it notes or stickers. Oh, I've got some very exciting ones. Um, some things to mark the floor. I've just got some old socks and a piece of toy. And then I forgot to tell him one last thing, which was something soft to be able to jump over. So something like a cushion or like a cuddly toy. If you haven't got those bits ready, just pause the video now, go grab them and then come and hit play when you're all ready. Let's get ready to go. Okay, so let's go with challenge one. Cushion jumping. So if you've ever done sports or athletics, it's a bit like the speed bounce. Get your cushion. Or in my case, Iggle Piggle from In The Night Garden. You're gonna put them on the floor and then you're literally gonna jump over the top, back and forth as many times as you can. I'll show you how. I've made sure I've got my socks off so I'm not gonna slip just like Mr. Doug told me. And then I'm literally gonna jump back and forth as quick as I can. This one's all about speed and you've gotta be careful not to land on your cushion or soft toy. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds, count how many you can do, and then that's your score for challenge one. 30 seconds, go. Come on, come on, you can do it, keep it going. Fast feet, quick as you can. Back and forth, don't land on that cushion. 20 seconds left. You can do it guys, keep breathing. Keep those arms up to help with your balance. Feet together, you're doing really, really well. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Time is going off. Oh, well done everybody, that looked brilliant. Should we have a look how the rest of the team got on with this one? Let's see. Okay, we're back for challenge two. Jumping for distance. Okay, so we should all be really good at this one because we've had lots of practice of it this week. We're doing a jump that's two feet to two feet. So same as you did the other day, mark out a start where you're gonna begin your jump from and then make sure you've got a hold of something so that you can mark out where you land. Two feet together and I'm jumping two feet to two feet. I'm gonna put my marker down and I'm gonna have another go. This one's best of three. See if you can jump that little bit further each time. I'm gonna have another go. Yeah. Oh, a tiny bit further. I've got an assistant with me today. Should we see how he can do? Quick then, dude, your go. Uh, my name is Steve. Oh, that? yeah, that's it. Ready, go. Well done, put your marker down. Back of your foot, sweet, back of your foot. And go again, can you jump further? Whoa, <laughs> great job. Should we have a look how the rest of the team got on? It looks like they're all getting on really well. How are you guys getting on at home? Are you enjoying challenge day? I know I am. Let's move on to challenge three, jumping for height. Now again, we did this one earlier in the week. You can see my post-it notes still stuck on the wall for my personal best. It's best of three, try and improve that height each time. And remember, we are reaching for that personal best score. Let's do this one together, come on. Right, I've got my sticker in my hand, I've got a good base, feet shoulder width apart, and I'm going to use those arms and reach up. <coughs> oh, I almost equaled my personal best. Right, let's go, I think I can get higher. Really reach for those arms. I feel like I'm not using my arms enough, I'm going to go for it this time. Concentration base, 
reach. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. I've absolutely smashed my personal best this time. I'm so pleased with myself. How are you guys getting on at home? I can see some children from the Hayes taking part. Really good jumping, guys. You're going so high. And I recognise you there. Uh, Woodside Primary, that's where you're from. Well done, Woodside. I hear you've been joining in lots. Okay, let's have a look how the team got on. Not bad, not bad at all. And Mr. Doug, he's pretty good at that one, isn't he? Definitely been practicing. Well done, particularly those guys from Forest Academy. I could see you doing that really, really well. I think you're gonna be good at this next one as well. So let's move on to challenge four. Planet hopping. Okay, so you're gonna need all your bits and bobs from earlier, your stickers, your markers, your soft toy. You're gonna to place them out around your room, not too far apart because you need to be able to hop between them. These are all gonna be your planets and the idea of this challenge is to hop between as many planets as you can in the time. I'm gonna give you 20 seconds on your right leg and then 20 seconds on your left leg. See how many planets you can jump between. Try not to jump on your markers because you don't wanna slip, just jump next to them. Let me show you. So I'm going to place them out, not too far apart, and then when the timer starts, I'll be hopping as quick as I can between the planets, and I'm counting how many hops I manage to do whoop, in the time, and then I'll swap, and I'll have another go on my other leg. Whoop. You guys ready? Timer, go! Well done, good hopping. Use those arms to keep your balance. You guys at Howard, do a really good job. Miss Hanley's been telling us how well you've been joining in. Keep it going, guys. Keep hopping. Use those arms. Really good work with the legs. And stop. Switch to your other leg now. Ready? Off we go again. Go. Keep jumping. Don't forget those planets right at the edge of the room. Make sure you jump back and forth to all of them. Really good going. Keep it going guys, almost there. Five seconds. You can do this, don't stop. And that's it. Well done. Give yourselves a clap. Brilliant work. Go on, let's have a look at how the team got on. I think they might find this one a bit tricky. challenges I hope you are as well that's what challenge day is all about putting what we've learned into practice and having fun last challenge challenge five the gazelle leap so a bit like our jumping for distance we're going to mark it with our markers and best of three see if we can improve our distance each time but this time it's one foot to one foot but it's not a hop it's one foot to the other foot like a really ginormous step let me show you Clear all my planets away and have my markers. I'm going to mark my start line and then to make it a bit easier and make sure I don't do it wrong, I'm going to lift one foot up and then when I leap, I'm going to land on this foot that's lifted up. Lift and then mark the back of my heel. Let me show you that again. So, at my start line, lift foot one foot up and that's the foot I'm jumping onto. <laughs> oh, same again. Got it? I hope you're having a go too. Good jumping, well done guys. Okay, you can carry on while we have a watch of the team having a go. 
Well done. Everyone's doing so well. What a brilliant challenge day. You've all put in so much effort, particularly you guys from Park Hill Junior. I can see you jumping. Really good work. And um, oh, what school is it you're from? The boy at the back there. Forest Academy. That's it. Well done, Forest Academy. Really good planet hopping earlier. That's it for challenge day. I think we've all done really well. Should we give ourselves a round of applause? Pat on the back. Victory dance. Well done. Okay, so maybe you want to share how well you've done today. Make sure you let your teachers know and that you've achieved your personal best. Maybe you could let some of your friends know that you've been taking part as well. I'm sure they'd like to hear how you got on and they can tell you how they got on too. Really good work, guys. If you stay and listen to the end of the video, we'll let you know how to find a certificate you can download to mark all your efforts today. And we're looking forward to seeing you again next week for challenge day number two. But now, I think we need a really good cool down after all them efforts. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon. Hello, everyone. My name's Pearl, and I'm going to take your cool down. Today, we are going to do a cool down called Pasta PE. Are you ready? So, boys and girls, we're going to start off by walking around the room. Doesn't matter how big or small your space is. And... We need to walk around and stretch our body so we can relax our muscles, stretch out our muscles and cool down. So we're going to think of some pasta. Has anybody got any pasta they can suggest for me? Yes? Spaghetti! Yes, perfect. Okay, so spaghetti. Long, thin. Let's think. Hmm, I've got it. Long, thin spaghetti. So if you want to walk around, stretching right up. You can go on your toes if you'd like, or if you prefer, just stay on the flats of your feet. Okay, we're gonna stretch right up to stretch our bodies. Fantastic, that looks really good. Right, now, another type of pasta. Oh, I know, my favorite. It's those twists, you know the pasta twists? So. Um, let me think. I know when we walk and I say pasta twists, we're going to twist. And I'm going to walk again and I'm going to say pasta twists and I'm going to twist. You can twist however far you'd like to. You can twist a quarter of a turn or you can twist half a turn or you can twist a full turn. It doesn't matter, but try twisting both ways. So pasta twists, pasta twists. Pasta twists. Brilliant. Now, another type of pasta. Mm, any ideas? Yeah? Tagliatelle. Oh, yes. It's that ribbon pasta, isn't it? That flat ribbon pasta. Mm, and what should we do for tagliatelle? Oh, I can see someone suggesting something. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So, let us be tagliatelle. It's all sort of twisty. And it's very bendy, isn't it? So make sure you've got flat hands though, because it's a flat pasta. We can go low with tagliatelle, and we can go high with tagliatelle. Very good. Very good indeed. Oh, well done. Have one more pasta. I know, lasagna. We haven't had lasagna yet, and it's one of my favorite. Lasagna, it's a flat sheet. I think there's only one thing for it. We need to lie down flat on the floor and stretch our arms right up. Point our toes and stretch. It's actually quite relaxing. That's brilliant. Well done. Okay, so I'm going to shout out some names of pasta this time and we're going to go ahead and do it. Are you ready? Walk around. 
بود پس تو تویست پس تو تویست لزانیا لزانیا آن فرم کنید آمی گوشت اکسلن تکی تلی سپگتی پای Good. Keep walking if you can. Pass the twist. Pass the twist. Lasagna. Lasagna again. And spaghetti. Spaghetti. Up there. Tagatelli. Pass the twist and stop. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. Well done. Wow, wow, wow. What an amazing session. Did you enjoy it? I loved doing those jumping challenges. They were such fun and I was trying really hard to do my best. So today we were looking for children who were able to challenge themselves. We were looking for children who would do their best and we were looking for children who would keep trying even if they found it hard. If you think you managed at least one of those, then you need to give yourselves a pat on the back. In fact, you need to give yourselves a double pat on the back. In fact, just celebrate however you want to because you were amazing. If you'd like to mark how amazing you were, then why don't you go to our website and download one of our Challenge Day certificates. The link is in the bio below. You can print it off or you can email it and share your success with your parents, your teachers and your school. For the next episode, you're going to need to get a few things ready. We're going to be doing some throwing and catching. So we'd like you to get a target, something like a book or a soft toy or a cushion. And we'd also like you to have a ball ready. Now we know that many of you will probably not have a ball around the house. So we've designed our very own sock ball. Of course, if you already have a ball, then something soft or small will do. However, if you haven't, use a few socks. Now, in my house, we've got loads and loads of odd socks lying about. I've taken six here and I've put them together and I've put the biggest sock on the outside. All you're going to do is open the biggest sock and stuff all the other socks inside it like this. And here you have your very own sock ball. This is an amazing ball. You can throw and catch. You can bounce it off a wall. And the most important thing is it's not going to destroy any of your equipment, your furniture or anything else. And your parents will be very pleased. So I will see you next episode with your sock ball. Bye.